welcome to my video. And Gracie would like to say good morning. <laughs> um, I woke up like 30 minutes ago, but this week, well, today's Wednesday. <laughs> oh God, they're fighting. I'm gonna try to trap two cats today behind the building. Yes, last week, oh, last week I didn't trap any cats because it was raining and I'm sick and tired of the rain. Um, I don't like the rain and I don't like the rain because it hails and it thunders and it storms and there's lightning and it scares cats and dogs and why would you want that for the cats and dogs? Okay, so I forgot to tell, what was his name? Jim? Tim? Oh man, I can't remember. But I forgot to tell him not to feed the cats before Thursday, the day before. So I put on this bowl, this paper, and hopefully he hasn't went to go feed them yet. So I'm going to hurry because it's like, what time, what time is it? Let me check. It's 12.20, so I, I think, I'm, I hope he hasn't went to go feed them yet. Okay, so I hope I'm talking loud enough, but I'm going to show you guys me putting the traps outside. Got it kind of off. Um, the Cheeto's name check. I haven't seen Cheeto in a long time ever since I released him, which was two weeks ago. And I feel really sad about it, but I know that he probably comes at nighttime, you know, like 1 a.m. all the way past that time to get um, food that I leave out. So I leave out a lot of food, just hoping that he will eat sometime during every day. But I wish I could see him, but I kind of figured I wouldn't see him again because he's not necessarily a part of this colony. Um, I have a feeling that he lives a lot more down where there's a lot of different apartments. And then we got Aspen's name tag. Pee pads on the bottom because I feel like they might pee and poop. And so, people put like um, um, a newspaper on the bottom and like cardboard and other stuff. Hopefully this covers it. Yeah. I think I'll just put it with that one for now. Uh, why don't you put this one on my car? Okay. Now I'm just going to take with me my can of tuna. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys where I'm going to put the traps. So I'm going to put them right here because when people are walking by, I don't think they'll be able to see them right here, so. There's the note that I left. He will see it because he always puts the bowls right there. So I freaking took the food that he left. So let me show you guys. Um, I just really didn't know what to do. And I'm so like, because it's wet food and it's a lot of wet food and dry food. So if the cats, they, I'm sure he fed them yesterday, so um, I'm sure they like had a full, they basically have a full belly. But, I mean, if I left the food out that he left for them, they're just going to eat that food that, you know, is right there. And then they're not going to eat the tuna that I have in the, in the trap. You know, here's the food, and I'm not gonna throw it away. I'm gonna put it out for my cats, um, because I haven't fed my cats over here at the colony yet. Like, I'll just put it out here outside, cause yeah, right there. So it's not going to waste, cause I was gonna throw it away, but I'm like, what the hell? Why would I throw it away? Okay, I just checked the traps for the third time i actually waited a long time to check this time nothing uh no i haven't trapped any 
cats so um usually i don't during the day usually it is at nighttime. yay guys i'm so happy okay so i woke up at 6 a.m and it was still dark out so i was like oh i'm gonna go sleep for an another hour and then come back um i mean and then come check and see if i trapped any cats and i was like feeling nervous so i was like because last time i didn't trap one when i sit only one trap out here i didn't trap any cat um so i was like you know am i even gonna trap any i trapped two of them and i'm so happy like because i never trapped these these cats They're both like a year. Yeah, it looks like it. Hi, I just picked up um, Clover and Fuzzy. That's what I named them. And I have a whole bunch of pictures of them. Um, but they're back here. Being really quiet, but I pick them up on Saturdays. When I take them on Thursdays, I pick them up on Saturday, so they have the cats for like two days. Um, but oh, I just wanted to say how, cause on TikTok, a lot of you guys were like, "Why don't I keep mittens?" And this is mittens. I'm gonna put a picture of mittens. Um, and I can't keep mittens because. I have four pets already, and that's the max pets that I'm probably able to have. Because four is a lot. Like, I never originally wanted four pets, and I live... Me and my boyfriend live together, and either did he. Um, and I already had two dogs that we were certain when we moved to the apartment that we were going to take with us, obviously. And it's already hard with two dogs, and then my dogs they're freaking i mean they're small dogs so they're pretty easy but they're really spoiled and they love attention and they like love attention from people and they don't like other dogs that much they're really bratty so it's really hard with two dogs and then um he had a cat well he, the cat that we have peep um i mean it wasn't originally our cat it was like his and like his sister's cat because he lived with his sister and I wanted to take Peep with us because um, Peep was like mostly an outside cat but they live in the country and I mean there's coyotes over there and I never seen a coyote but my boyfriend said like you know he's seen them before and so yeah the point is is when you when you have your your dog or your cat outside they can, cats are very smart. So Peep is very, very, very smart. So I feel like that's why he lasted so long without getting hit by a car or by getting taken by a coyote because he's a smart cat. And cats can run up trees. And you know, there's like trees in the fields. So they could always run up there from predators. Um, but yeah, that's why um, I told my boyfriend that I wanted Peep. So I am Peep's mommy now. I love Peep so much. He's the best cat. And it was so easy for him to transition to being an inside cat. We got him neutered. And then we brought him home. And he never meowed to go outside ever again. So that's how we ended up with three pets. Peep and then my two dogs. And then Gracie, um, my cousin found her in her boyfriend's um, neighborhood. This like neighbor had a bunch of cats but cats that they didn't take care of, cats that um, they didn't get fixed and that were outside and were um, forming a huge colony. And um, they would have kittens. These cats would have kittens after kittens after kittens after kittens. And they said it was really bad and cats would like poop on everyone's yard. And, um, you know, like baby kittens like you know like they weren't even like any, a year old yet probably a couple months were getting pregnant because like it was just like crazy they said and so that's how they found gracie she was a litter of these kittens 
and when I seen the condition she was in, I mean, like, it really alerted my cousin and her boyf my and her boyfriend because they were like, she was she looked terrible, like, her eyes were shut closed and like she was so tiny and thin and it was like bad, like she was she needed help ASAP. And so that's when I reached out for help and I couldn't unfortunately find any help. And so um, I took Gracie in, but I was like, I can't keep her because I didn't want four pets. And so then I asked my mom if she could take Gracie, like, you know, when after, you know, she's healed and stuff, like I would take care of her. But like when my Gracie was healed, I would give her to my mom. And then my mom ended up, getting a kitten well it wasn't even a he wasn't a kitten he was like a couple months old he was already um you know like five months old and um she got him from our family member and my mom was supposed to take gracie but she took another cat and because she like you know really wanted to help the cat because the cat needed somewhere to go and so my mom did the right thing to take her cat and now she has her own cat um and so I didn't want to push Gracie on my mom. That is why I couldn't keep men's because I'm really like over my limit because I live in an apartment. I mean, how can you have more than four pets in an in a apartment? I don't think it's possible. But maybe one day I'll be able to have my own house and take in any pet that I want. I really want that for my life. Um, one day, I already told my boyfriend, but I want my own house, and I want cats. And, like, I already have two dogs, so obviously I'd have those two dogs, but I want cats. Like, I want a house full of cats. Because I love cats. Uh, I'm obsessed with cats. I, like, would die for any cat that I've ever seen. I would die for any of my stray cats. They are my whole life. Um, yeah, so I want a house full of cats. Like, I want a big house, and I want to rescue every cat that I see and I want to do that here in Fresno because um it's really bad here like with the strays there's a lot of strays um I've had I've had a lot of pets in the past when I was a kid like I had parakeets and I had dogs and I never took care of them properly and I don't even have pictures of some of the dogs that I've had but I remember how exactly how they look and I remember their names and I wish like I could go I have so much re regret from when I was a kid but I was a, just a kid but even then um I didn't take care of my pets properly and it really makes me sad um I hope that they found a home or if some of them are in heaven, I know that I will see them one day. But I've had, I had a couple of pets. I had um, these small dogs. They were named Canela, Cupcake, and Benji. And then I had a dog named Hazel Grace. And I've had a lot of parakeets, but they all passed away um, when I was little. Yeah, and there's this dog that my boyfriend's family had. Um, I named him Sweet Bee. And I never know what happened to him, but I wish that he was my dog. I'll never forget him. And I'll never forget. I always start crying. I've already, like, cried several times about this to my boyfriend. About all the, all the dogs that I'll never forget. Or that I wish I could have helped. But what I'm doing um, now for these stray cats or for these stray dogs that I ever come across. It's for those dogs that I couldn't help. It's for Sweet Pea and Benji and Canela and Cupcake and Hazel Grace. I don't know what happened to them, but if they... If they passed away and they're not here anymore, I'll see them one day. But I'm helping pets for them because they deserved better. 
And what hurts more is like the not knowing, not knowing what happened to them. I, I remember like every face of every dog that I couldn't help. I, I really love dogs so much. I was just one person, like, what could I do? But I regret not doing anything. Or doing things the right way, because I was just a dumb kid. I really was a dumb kid, and I didn't... Um, I was a dumb kid. Okay, this video is 21 minutes long. I'm gonna have to really edit it. Because I've been going on talking so much. But, oh. So... I always like to guess what, um, if the cats that I trap are female or male, because there's no way to know, right? Because they're feral. You can't, you can't see if they're female or male, so I'm always, like, curious, so I always name the pets. I'll, I always name the cats, um, gender neutral names. Or sometimes I can tell if they're male or female, and that's how, the only way I can tell is when, like, when a cat, one cat is, like, harassing another cat, and the cat is trying to hide, usually that one's a female, the one that's trying to hide, and the one who keeps harassing the female is a male, because, um, they're in heat, and so the male, you know, won't leave the female alone, that's how sometimes I can tell, so I kind of figured that Fuzzy was a girl, and then Clover, I was like, I don't know. Like, Clover could be a male. But turns out that they are both female. Oh, my God. Clover was pregnant, too. They both stay pregnant. See, right here where it says pregnant, it says yes. And then same thing for... Um, fuzzy. Ugh, it stresses me out thinking about it. I'm just like, all oh, this pregnant. There are probably so many pregnant cats out there that I still need to trap. Ah, I'm getting into my thoughts. Alrighty. Um, I'm gonna show you guys cats. I'm hungry. Over. Oh, you're beautiful, Clover. You're gorgeous. Wow, you're so gorgeous. They're upset. They're really upset right now. They keep meowing. It's such a pretty day. In our extra room, and I'm going to put pee pads on the floor under the cages just in case that they get pee or poo anywhere. She is mad. Um, fuzzy. She's been growl. She's been hissing at me and everything this whole time. <clears throat> she's really mad. <laughs> Poor baby. She's pissed. Oh, her. Okay. I think I'm just gonna let them be for now because I feel really bad. They're really mad right now. And then I'll come back in here and check up on them. And then I'm going to re release them tomorrow. But tonight I'm going to give them some food. Because they deserve it. Some wet food. Yeah. Okay. I put some food in here. For my baby. She is so scared. I know. But I know you're hungry. I know you want that. Wet cat food. 
So cute, Clover. Clover has not hissed not once this whole time. Poor thing. Super scared. Cover her back up. So she can eat her food. Got the tuna in. I push it on my scissors a little bit. There you go, mommy. There you go. She's so scared. She like pushed herself to the back of the trap. Time to release Clover and Fuzzy. I'm put some food out for them. <laughs> Please don't touch. guys so my boyfriend forgot to press record when we released fuzzy and clover but they just ran opposite directions and they took off um uh, i can't believe he forgot to press record but it's okay it's okay it's not like i didn't want a compilation of um i want like this huge video of all the cats i ever trap um i'm gonna put it together and like have each of them when i release them like because you know they just run they take off and they sprint i want to like compilation video of every single cat but i can't have fuzzy and clover in that because he didn't press record but thank you for watching my video and this is just my outro so have a good day bye